so yeah. Uh, Major T, that was one of the most embarrassing things that ever happened to me. Uh, and you have one more question. Okay. Out of these four pizza franchises, who's number one in your book? Uh, list them one to four in your opinion. Okay. You have Pizza Hut, Papa John's, Domino's, and Uno's. Okay. Um. Well, number one, Pizza Hut. Uh, nobody, when it comes to a pizza franchise like that, I don't think Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut is, Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut is the shit. I love Pizza Hut. Uh, but where I'm at, I would have to travel to the next town over just to get to a Pizza Hut. Um, where I'm at, so I'd have to travel there so we can't deliver. Um, but where I'm at, there are two places that deliver Domino's and Papa John's where I'm in my area. Uh, right now, as of right now, right now, number two is going to Domino's. Domino's has improved a lot. Uh, that whole catchphrase, if you've seen the commercials, those, they're straight up real. That, that is for real. They have improved big time. And Papa John's will come number three. I've only been to Uno's once, and that's Chicago style deep dish pizza. I've only been there once, and what I've had of it, it was good. It was very good. But I really want not a, a franchise. I want to go really to Chicago, to a real pizzeria in Chicago place, and eat the real deal, you know, Chicago deep dish. It's like. When I travel, when I, I I went to visit my friend down in Pennsylvania, who goes to school at Penn State, I stopped in Philadelphia and had me a Philly cheesesteak, an authentic Philly cheesesteak. With Chicago, that's what I I want to go to a real pizzeria in Chicago whenever I get to Chicago someday and have a real deep dish Chicago style pizza. I know it's a little different than, you know, flatbread. You know, what we're here, what we're used to in New York, you know, flat, crust, thin, deep dish is more thick, you know, it's cool. I, I have no problem with it, but I've only been to Uno's once, Major T, and from what I, it was good, but from, it'll be one, Pizza Hut, two, Domino's, believe it or not, three, Papa John's, and four, yes, Uno's, Okay. So uh, thank you for the question, Major T. And last on my list is my fellow uh, wrestling fan for life, Ms. Wrestling Fan, because this is a girl, actually, people. Um, and she asks me, uh, she has how many questions? One, two, th three questions. Okay, first question, she asks me, is it me? Or is WWE trying to market Randy Orton as the next Stone Cold? Uh, you know what? In a way, I do see it. I can see it. Last night, it was funny as hell. Man, um, I see, because first of all, if you know this, uh, Uh, basically, Randy likes to play the heel. He doesn't like playing the face. So I can see them market him as an anti-face or anti-hero. You know, like Stone Cold was. He was never he never a face, face, face. He was for himself. And if they do that right, yes. You know, not market him as the the next Stone Cold because there will never be another. Oh, sorry, too loud again. Getting too loud. Never the the right. He was, he's not, there can never be another Stone Cold right there, you know, but, you know, it was like, it's like trying to market MVP as the next rock, which they were doing at one time, you know, custom made clothes and everything like that, no, there's only one rock, there's only st one Stone Cold, but I do see it, and they can do something with Randy Orton with that, but not have him, don't market him too much like but marketing at like an anti-hero, like he, they're doing now, 
you know, Stone Cold was going around stunning people. What's Randy Orton doing? He's stu he's RKOing celebrity ho hosts now, you know. And did Meatloaf botch that RKO? My God. <laughs> um. But uh, yeah, I do see it. I see it in sometimes. Um. Are you? Are you cool? Next question. Are you cool with Drew McIntyre being stripped of the IC? T hell yeah, I am. You no, know, hell yeah, I am. You know what? I know he's not fired, but but I'm glad they stripped him. Because there's got to there, basically there's a 30 period defense title. If I'm still correct, were you supposed to? In the 30 minutes, 30 day, you're supposed to defend your title, or you're gonna have it stripped away from you. When's the last time Drew McIntyre defended that belt? Never. And I was just tired of him, just holding that belt. And we're gonna see a, probably a good match this Friday with, with uh, we're probably gonna see a good match this Friday with Christian and Kofi Kingston going for that belt. And they're probably going to do pretty pretty much better justice than Drew McIntyre did. Well, I'm cool with it. I really don't mind. And your third question is, last question, people, is, is this end game for Matt Hardy's WWE career? Ooh, good question. Because let, let's face it, people, lately, Matt Hardy hasn't been doing anything, you know, you know, he, uh, Endgame, I don't know. He's he's made, he's wrote on his Twitter that he says he might think his wrestling career is over, but he still wants to be a part of the wrestling business somehow, from some form or the another. But and then you have Shannon Moore and Jeff have been urging Matt, pleading with Matt. Come down to TNA. Come down to TNA. TNA, TNA, TNA. Uh, I don't think they're going to do anything more with Matt Hardy. What happened on Friday with Matt is pretty much a sign. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, just, oh, like, oh, God. Like, what are you going to do? So, you know, I, I end game, maybe. I, 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 it's a possibility. It's a possibility. Um, but thanks for the questions, um, Ms. Wrestling Fan for Life. It's always a pleasure hearing from you. Um, always a pleasure hearing from everybody. Um, keep the questions coming if you want me to continue. Or, um, uh, what else I want to bring up? Um, okay. As you already know, uh, stay tuned for the Blade Tribute. Stay tuned for two two tributes that I'll be bringing out sometime soon. Uh, stay tuned for this Friday, uh, what I'm going to do with the opinion spot that I touched on. Uh, for all those I plugged uh, in the video, check out their channels. Uh, subscribe to them. Uh, pretty much... That's about it. That's all the questions. Like I said, keep them coming. No matter no matter how many you you want to give me, or no matter how less you give me, don't matter. Uh, and this is Mom Vernon Kid saying peace, one love. Stay tuned. My headache is still killing me. You know I shouldn't have yelled too loud as migraines coming back. But uh, I'll get better. Um, just a little measly headache I'll heal from it um, but other than that guys stay tuned oh, I said that I said my catchphrases uh, <laughs> my brother kid is out